What's going on everybody? Welcome back to some breaking news and the ATP have changed the rules for their ranking point system so players like Federer won't fall out of the rankings as badly as we all thought when the rankings were supposed to come back online around Miami. It was supposed to be you lose your points in Miami and beyond. They've changed it a little bit here, so let's go check it out. So the ATP have brought out a new rule change that points won at events between the 4th of March in 2019 to the 5th of August 2019 that were cancelled and not played in 2020 will be halved for the ranking points. So the ranking points will be halved in terms of defending those points. So this is the list of tournaments that are affected. We have the Miami Open, which is coming up at the end of the month, Monte Carlo, Madrid, Washington, Hella, Queens, Barcelona, and Wimbledon, of course, falls in that bracket. So Federal who has to defend points at Miami, Wimbledon, Hella, Madrid. He'll be happy with that because he won't have to defend all those points. Let's go have a look at the current rankings now. So you've got number four in the world, Dominic Team. He's on 9,125 points. He should stay at number four by the time we get to Wimbledon. Federer, the number five, he's on 6,630 points. And close behind is Sitsi Pass at number six with 6,595 points. And then about 900 points behind him is Sasha Zverev, the number seven, with 5,615 points. So what does this all mean? It means that Federer doesn't fall down the rankings as much as everybody probably thought. We thought that he had a lot of points to defend, and that if he didn't defend those points, he might drop out of the top 10 by the end of Wimbledon. But now, he's going to stay in the top 10 until at least the end of Wimbledon. I don't think he can drop any further than number eight in the world because he's so far ahead of those guys. And even if he does lose first round of all the tournaments that he has to back up all those points, including the French Open semi-final, he has to back that up. Final of Wimbledon, of course. Miami title. If he loses first round of all those, he won't lose as many points as first thought, which means that he's going to drop down to probably number eight, which means he's going to stay in the top 10 till at least the end of Wimbledon. Well, let me know down in the comments below, do you think this is unfair for the players that are around Federer? Because it does benefit Federer a lot. He seems to be the guy that's going to get the most benefit out of this. So the ATP have changed their ranking points rules again, and Federer is safe in the top 10 for now.